Hello guys, it's Dale here with weekly trading ideas video for this week starting today, the 4th of October 2021. Before I go into the trading analysis, let me announce the winner of the contest we had last time. Right now on your screen, you should see the name of the person who won the contest and who won my flexible volume profile indicator for MetaTrader 4 platform. So congratulations to the winner. And what I'll do next is I'll do another contest for the next week. The only thing you will need to do to participate in this contest is just leave a comment below this video, which I'll upload on YouTube. And next week in the next weekly trading ideas video, I'll randomly pick one person to win my volume profile indicator. So uh, that's about that. That's about the contest. And let's now have a look at the chart. What you see before you is my day trading workspace. All the charts which you see are linked. So they always show the same trading instrument. In this case, it's the British pound. And the chart at the top, this is sort of big picture chart where I see the bigger trends and also uh, the weekly volume profile. So this weekly volume profile shows how volumes were distributed throughout the whole week. It shows the most important volume zones. Now this chart below that, that's a 30 minute chart. And in this chart, I use my flexible volume profile. That's profile which you can move around like this, look into specific areas uh, which you are interested in. And this is especially useful with my trading methods. This is sort of my main chart because uh, the flexible volume profile is the profile which I use the most. Now the last chart, this is also a 30 minute chart, but in this case I don't use flexible profile here, but I use fixed profiles, which get automatically printed every day. So those show how volumes were distributed every day. So yeah, that's about the layout which I use. And uh, let's go and have a look at the trading ideas. The first one is on the British pound US dollar. And if you look in here, it is based on this rotation, which took place on Friday, and also on this strong buying activity that started from that rotation. Now, what this tells me, if you look at the volume profile, you can see that there were heavy volumes accumulated there, right? So this tells me that strong buyers were building up the long positions in here. They show on the volume profile. Then what those buyers did was they pushed aggressively the price up first. This is actually how we identified that those volumes were strong buyers because of this uptrend, right? Now, what we know is that there are strong buyers around this place, around this heavy volume area starting at 34.59. So, when there's a pullback, it's likely that those buyers will want to defend this zone and to push the price upwards from there again. This is what makes it a strong support, All right? By the way, this level is also very nicely visible on the weekly profile, which means that it's also important from uh, the bigger picture, from the bigger point of view, All right? So this is it. This is the strong support on the British pound US dollar. And uh, let's now have a look at the next trading idea, which will be on the Euro New Zealand dollar. So what we have in here is a rejection of higher prices. This is the rejection of higher prices, which means that buyers were pushing the price upwards, but then sellers took over and strong sell off started. When I see this or something like this, I'm always interested in volumes that were traded within the area where the price turned, in this case, right there. So if I delete all that, you should be able to see this volume cluster, right? Those are volumes of sellers who rejected the higher prices and who started to push the price downwards. So the information we have is that there are strong sellers in here, or there were strong sellers in here, rejecting higher prices and pushing the price downwards. This heavy volume area is starting at 68.13. Now, when there's a pullback, those sellers should start defending this zone because this zone is important for them. They placed a lot of their short positions in here. So they'll want to defend it and push the price downwards from there again, from this volume cluster. All right. 
So yeah, that's the logic behind this trading setup and behind this trading level on the Euro New Zealand dollar. The setup I use here is called the rejection setup. And let's now have a look at the next trading idea, which will be on the Australian dollar Japanese yen. So now all the charts show the Australian dollar Japanese yen. And what I want to comment on first is the shape of the weekly volume profile. It is a D-shaped profile, which means that it corresponds to the letter D. And uh, when there is a D-shaped profile, it means that there is a temporary balance between buyers and sellers. The center of it, of this area, is sort of a magnet. The price tends to go back to it. And what I like to trade there is the extremes of the D-shaped profile when there are significant volume clusters there, like in here or in here. So from those volume clusters, what I do is I go short from there, long from there, towards the center of the rotation, towards the heavy volume zone, right? This is sort of a magnet. The price tends to go towards to. So it's a nice place for a take profit, by the way. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that those little volume clusters are important for me, right? So let's now talk about um, this one. It was created within this rejection of higher prices. And you can have a look at it in here on the 30 minute chart. It's more detailed in here. This is the rejection. And as you can see, I used my flexible profile to look specifically into that rejection. So. This is the rejection and this is the significant volume cluster within the rejection. Now, the logic is the same as in the previous case. Buyers were pushing the price upwards, then sellers took over. They started to add to their short positions in here. We can see that on the volume profile, that's the volume cluster. And then they push the price aggressively downwards. So. This is the short resistance zone starting at 81.16. And when the price makes it back to this zone again, then those sellers should start defending this zone again because it's important for them because they place a lot of their short positions there, right? So they should start defending it and they should push the price downwards from there again. All right, that's the logic behind this setup and this resistance level. Again, as in the previous case, it is the rejection setup, right? Rejection of higher prices with significant volume cluster created within that rejection. Right there. So yeah, that's about that. And if you guys would like to learn more about trading with volume profile, that what I recommend is going to my website, which is trader-dale.com. This is it. And what I recommend is clicking this button and going to trading course and tools. And it will bring you to this page. So you scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting my elite pack. This is educational trading pack on trading with volume profile. And uh, there is a video which you can watch. In the video, I'll show you everything which you are going to get in the Elite Pack. In short, you are going to get 15 hour long video course, my personal trading levels. Those are day trading levels as well as swing trading levels. So this way you'll be able to trade alongside me every day. You'll also get volume profile pack, which is pack of volume profile indicators, which I developed for NinjaTrader 8 and MetaTrader 4 platform. And what you'll also get is couple of bonuses. Now at the top of all that, you will also get free tech support for Elite Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support will set up Ninja Trader platform for you with all my indicators, my workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed and they'll do it completely free of charge as that's a part of the service which we provide to the Elite Pack members. Now this tech service should give you sort of a jump start, so you won't need to read manuals or set everything up yourself. Instead, you can focus on learning how to trade with volume profile and on your own trading. 
Alright, so that's about that. That's about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it useful. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.